What's going on you guys? DZ Rocks here with another Musicality Monday and in this one I'm going to talk about timing. If you're new here, consider subscribing for plenty more content. You know I don't even consider it this time. Go ahead and subscribe for plenty more content just like this. Drop a knowledge, how-tos, blogs, and plenty of uh, content to help you grow as a dancer and have all your boys along the way. With that said, run that intro. Let's get right into it. I ain't ran this intro in a while. I'm so excited to hear it. Let's get it. Okay, so timing. Timing uh, is basically, if you want to break it down and make it super simple, timing uh, is basically about being on beat and off beat. Uh, the timing that you have to hit each instrument uh, precisely, um, that that is your clue whether you're on beat or off beat. If you're missing the, if you're missing the sounds, you know what I mean. Uh, if you're missing the instruments, then you're not necessarily on beat. You're off beat. Um, and being on beat is obviously boom, cap, boom, cap. I'm on beat because my movements are on beat, boom, cap. Now, if I'm I, now, uh, see, I'm trying to give an example of how to dance off beat. And I'm not even trying to sound cocky, but it's the hardest thing in the world. Because <laughs> I'm making it, so I don't know. So just being off, we all know what dancing off beat looks like. Okay, so I don't gotta do that part. <laughs> um, so the thing that you're trying to do is um, take your time and understand the, um, the pace of the song uh, and try to keep yourself and your movements right along with it. Don't try to, uh, a lot of people have the tendency to go faster than the beat. So you wanna make sure that you're slowing it down or speeding it up, whether you have to do that. Some people go slower than the beat. Um, and just trying to make everything uh, syncopate truly with the music. Um, so there's a few other terms. Um, like I said, there's on beat, off beat. Um, but then there's, when it comes to timing, there's uh, on time, uh, off time. <laughs> um, but there's what's known as uh, loose timing. Uh, and that's when you're kind of, um, it's really just exactly how it says. You're kind of loose with the timing of where you're actually hitting it. Um, and you have timing in the sense of you can hit the beat perfectly on, you can hit it right before, or you can hit it after. Your timing uh, is what's going to give you um, that certain look. If you really want it to look like you're hitting it, hitting uh, the beat right on, you have to time it perfectly. Uh, it's like when I can't remember the word any of what those games would be, but it's like if something is coming and you have to really hit it at the perfect point, um, even if it's just a little bit off, right on, blah, 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 blah. You're trying to hit it up perfectly. It's like a cup, you're trying to drop a drop something in there as it's going by. You kind of have to release it at a point and understand how much distance you have uh, to make it in and where, how much distance you have in comparison to where the beat is. So when you think about it like that, Timing makes a lot of sense because you have to really be perfect in your thought process about how to attack the beat uh, and how to make your movement syncopate right on time. So there's perfect timing, loose timing, um, and yeah, those are just a couple of terms to really kind of think about. Like I said, they're super easy to uh, conceptualize, but actually having that perfect timing is really, really hard. Um, we say there is no such thing as perfect, but in this case, there is. There is a right one when it comes to the music because you hear, you hear where the beat is right here. So if you hit it perfectly, then your timing is perfect. Or would you just have more control over your timing? You can choose to, uh, your timing, whether it's going to be perfect, loose, or whatever it's going to be, but it's just about having that choice. Think about the uh, how a pendulum swings. All this here. This space in between, boom, boom. All this is timing, okay? So you're making sure that you're taking into account this space. So if the snare was here, snare, boom, cap, boom, cap, boom, cap. So you're taking the same distance, the same distance here is gonna be the same distance in the song, but you're not trying to rush it, you're not trying to slow it down where you have to, you're just trying to have a natural movement about it. Okay. When you're able to really keep this timing, you're able to understand where exactly uh, the beat is, and you can practice. Sorry. 
Sorry, it's not super nasally right now. This pissed me I sound super nasally. It's just kind of irritating, but it's uh, uh, blow my damn nose. <sighs> oh. uh, I meant hot loogie. All right, that's better. <laughs> so, uh, keeping the pendulum swing is just a good way to work on your timing, make sure that um, you're not rushing it or slowing it down to compensate for um, the lack of understanding where the timing is. Um, so yeah, like I said, when you think about that in movement, um, you're, you're just taking that same space and then moving, ka, ka, and just understanding the same timing about where that snare is, snare, uh, and understanding the space in between that you have before and after it uh, to hit it perfectly. Um, so timing, timing's a it's an interesting topic. It's an interesting thing. Um, but like I said, just trying to give first that perfect timing, trying to make sure that you're uh, matching your movements in the space you have that's required to uh, hit it perfectly. So um, yeah, and it's probably a little bit confusing, <laughs> a little bit. So uh, if you have questions, definitely put them in the comment box. I definitely want to uh, help you guys out as much as possible, especially with the musicality. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a tough subject at times. It's hard to come up with stuff because it's, you got to think really in depth uh, about music and about musicality. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm here to do. It's what we're here to do together. So let's talk about it. I love musicality. So hopefully I got some musicality fans out there. And let's let's go ahead and get in the comment box and start a dialogue. So um, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's been a while for these. It's difficult to come up with. So if you guys have questions, put them in the comment box. I would love to answer questions uh, and help you guys out directly um, with this. Um, like I said, it's a difficult topic, but we can grow from it so much and our dance will get to the, uh, to the next level for sure. So with that said, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell to be the first one to comment first on all the new videos. Uh, I'm DZ Rocks.